my godfather and Allah Hamum. This is Mr. Abdullah. Salam alaikum, Mr. Abdullah. How are you? Alhamdulillah. How are you, man? And then this is me, of course. Mashallah. And we are discussing very, very productive things about religion and Islam. Yes. So, what else, Mr. Abdullah? What do you think? So, I am. I think what my grandfather, yeah. when I say to him, uh, I was shaitan rajim. When I say to him, shaitan, he don't uh, let me make the complete the salah or the, well. uh, or psalm. He said, no, no, come sit and show me this ayah. Mm -hmm. And I figured out the most important. Not and to. of course, when you said, even you say to anyone that I'm not grateful to you, mm. it means you multiply even the person in front yes. of you. So if you say that I'm not grateful to God, who is the creator, creator of everything. Yes. So automatically you're multiplying every good everything. thing. He everything. gave you nama provision by zero. All. Allah. And also uh, the ayah about unnatural things. Mm. The shaitan put you at, as he said that I will make people go against the nature yes and this is we can see easily happening right now around us the people yeah. are going against nature some, some country right now i can see it in the news they said i am not human i am a cat <laughs> and some of them some of them they, can't. they get married with you know his uh, 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 donkey or dog <laughs> and some of them this is something strange you know there is a woman in uk mm -hmm. she said my husband mm -hmm. is a bed Bed, can you believe the bed? <laughs> okay, they have to put a sheet when, on him. When, when, when they ask her why, she said he, he make me comfortable, and he never talked with me, and never say yes or no. So he's my husband. Oh. And not, and, and she make this uh, you know, fish in the government. This, she signed the paper. This is my husband. This bed is my husband. You know, this is this is what <laughs> Prophet Sallallahu warned us about fitna and dajjal. It's all fitna, the jal, mm -hmm. you know, like deception. Mm -hmm. The jal means the one who tricks. Yes. They're like you see something, but it's not true. This is the jal. Like for example, if I give you a toy of a car, mm -hmm. that's not a car, but yes. you call it a toy, or, or you call it a car. It's a little boy will say, mm -hmm. "Where is my car?" He will never say, "Where is the toy?" Yes. It's the same thing. Like you see something, but it's not true. That is deception. Like deception of nature, deception of things, the deception of concepts, deception of ideas. Prophet said, there's no prophet there who didn't warn about the coming of Dajjal. Mm. Can you believe it? Mm. Since Nuh alayhi salam. But he said, I'm giving you something which did, they didn't give you. That he will be having one eye. Yes. And one eye he will be blinded, the eye of spiritualism. Yes. But he will be, yeah, only yeah. eye of Mata, mm. materialism. Mm. Imagine this is the fitna with Prophet forbade us before, warned us before, that this fitna to come out is the biggest trial on this planet. Allah, like all prophets want and uh, we can easily see that that whatever we see it's not there and everything is deception so uh, th th this is the end of time very clearly and prophet ﷺ says that my birth and my death mm. is the first sign of yom of the yes Allah. so we are already akhir zaman this is you can feel it mm. that things the, the way we are right now mm. it's very clear the Prophet is the first sign, and what we are 1400 years now. Uh, 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 you can see it also. Everything is mentioned in Quran and also in Hadith. Everything, even in the lifestyle. You know, there is famous actor in the USA. His name is uh, John Van Damme. He's mm -hmm. so famous. Mm -hmm. And he came to Egypt, Egyptian, I think, before a couple of years. Okay. And uh, they ask him. You are now old and you have still your lifestyle, your building, your muscles, it's really good. Uh, give it us the secret. Your, how is your body like that and you are 17 or 16, something like that. And he said that you are Muslim so stupid. He said that. <laughs> so when they ask him why, he said because everything, even in the lifestyle for the food, it's mentioned to your Prophet Muhammad. Wow. <laughs> so, I use this secret from pro your Prophet. <laughs> Can you believe that? He takes something from our Prophet, he is not Muslim, and he takes it from our Prophet Muhammad lifestyle. This is, uh, do you know uh, Muhammad Iqbal, Mr. Abdullah? The most of the famous poet of uh, era, like 50, 60 years, 
mm. under his arm was Alama Iqbal, they call him, Muhammad Iqbal. He was a poet. Mm. And he was very famous in, in Persia, in mid Indian subcontinent, even in Arabs. Mm. Because of one of the schools, they even have his uh, magazine. Ah. And they were teaching about this guy. I mean, mm. it's a big name, you can say Muhammad Iqbal. Mm. He said exactly like that in his poetry. Mm. He said that the Western civilization by knowingly or unknowingly following the methods of Prophet Muhammad. Yes. They don't know that what teachings of morality, sobriety, piety, brotherhood is from Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi but either they're following by knowingly or unknowingly. So they said that you cannot help. You cannot help like mm -hmm. you will find it that this is our Prophet already said it. Everything is mentioned. Everything mentioned. But they are... I mean where they learned from maybe in the past these et etiquettes in the, and I'm talking about the Middle Ages of Europe. Mm. If you say when the Europe came into the bright future, the engine, the core of the European mm. civilization was Quran. Yes. You know that if you read many verses of Quran, they followed that principle. Yes. But now what happened? They followed and they twisted. Yes. True. You understand that? The I concepts mean. were taken from Quran. Mm -hmm. Like police system. Who started police system? Omar ibn al Khattab. Yes. <laughs> so they, they copied, yeah. they took from us. Yes, the first one. <laughs> yeah. But now if we have a crooked police, that's another topic. Mm -hmm. But where the system originated from Islam. Everything, man. Everything they took from us, the, the knowledge of... I just, yesterday I was giving a lecture on Islamic Arab, Arabs and um, advanced medicine mm. at the time of Abbasid uh, Khilaf Caliphate yeah. in Baghdad. Yeah. I was like when I was reading and I was giving a lecture, I was shocked when I found few things that every little thing, even the surgical instruments of uh, the, the Germans, they took from Muslim scientists. Yeah. The yeah. operations, the, the surgical you instruments. Know, even some scientists, non-Muslim, they be Muslim after that. When they discovered yes. Yes. what they discovered in yes. the science, yes. it's already mentioned in Quran yes. before 1000 years. Well. <laughs> it's already mentioned. Embryology, let's suppose yes. embryology. Embryology, you can talk to Keith more, yeah? You no can't problem. deny that the dark stages or whatever the, in the in the womb of mother, mm -hmm. nobody knows that time and they didn't open it. And you know, Mr. Abdullah, one more thing. Do you know about the honeybee? Mm -hmm. The sex of the honeybee is mentioned in the Quran, the sex. Mm -hmm. The one which produces honey. If you read Surah Nahl, chapter 16, verse number 67 mm -hmm. to 69, Allah says, then we reveal unto the bees mm -hmm. to go to and make hives on the mountains and then we take out this liquid from the bellies. But you see the gender, the pronoun, or the the gender God used there is Kuli Vathluki. Mm. Like the she male, like, like the she, eh. not male. Yeah. That the female one makes the honey. Mm. And what is the amazing part here? The first time scientists or whatever, these naturalists, they came to know the bee which produces honey is female in 1970, first time. Mm. They thought that it's the king bee. Mm. You search in the science books. Mm. They used to say before, 1970, king bees. Mm -hmm. They changed into queen bee. But Quran, 1400 years before, identified the sex of the bee who produces honey. This is miracle, miraculous verse if you pay attention. How, how did Prophet know? If he wrote it, how did he find those mountains and find the sex? Yes. <laughs> This is uh, something amazing. Uh, in this, is, this is our mistake, man. Nobody read Quran. It's really really. was looking. Yes. My, my when I, I told you before, my grandfather he was read one ayah or two ayah or three sometimes for a couple of months. Hmm. And when I asked him, I was young. When I asked him why you do that, he said, I don't want to read Quran as usual for ibadah. That's it. Just for reading. Uh, no, I need to discover something. There is more than just word. This ayah, Subhanallah, zee khalak al azwaj akulla min ma tumbi tul ardu wa min anfusim wa min ma la yalamun. This la yalamun is what? Mm. That there are some pairs. Allah says you are. You do not know. Yes. Now we are coming to know these all pairs, negative, positive forces. Yes. Huh? Atoms, electrons, how they repel and uh, centripetal, centrifugal. Mm. All these things, the Quran already identifies that there are things which are in pairs, but you do not know. Yes. <laughs> the Quran. Yeah. And the Quran says, Subhan, meaning glorify to God. So it means there is a, uh, what you call, Ishara. Ishara. That there is something yeah. great there. Note. Yeah. Okay, let me tell you, discuss about Bible. You, you, you will also enjoy that. 
do you know how why do we speak different languages like you speak arabic i speak urdu no i i also try to speak english different different languages how do we know these languages why do we speak like that why don't we have a common language I have no idea. No idea. Okay. I know it would be Arabic. Indian yeah. Okay. Nation, that's Allah. that's, uh, that's Islamic eschatology. Yes. Mm. But as general, why do mm. we speak according mm. to Bible? Do you know why? You will be shocked. Listen, this story. It's in the Bible, not exaggeration. Okay. In the Bible, it's mentioned there were some people in Iraq, Babel. Okay. They were creating the Tower of Babel. People okay. were creating. Mm. So God came down and saw from the top. Mm. that these people are creating a big building mm. like a burj khalifa mm. and bible says you believe that bible said that god got terrified mm. that if these people build long building they come to me so so god confused their language uh -huh. if someone says give me a brick he brings water so they were unable to make the building can you believe it it's in the bible but what allah says in the quran Surah Rum. <coughs> no, Surah Rum, chapter 21, verse number I think so. Yeah, in the beginning, 30 I think so. Allah says, "Wamin ayatihi among His signs, the creation of people, the variances in your faces and your color and your tongue are the miracles of God." Miracle. Yes, a miracle. If you have different tongue, it's a miracle. If you have different faces, a miracle. This is what Quran says, and this is what Bible says. It's a curse of God. So the, the, when you talk to a Christian, pastor says, "Yes, it's true." He said, "No, it's definitely true." So imagine that there are some people believe that that God that God got terrified because people gonna reach to Him. Now Burj Khalifa, man, you can't even reach to God to. Huh? to <laughs> Burj Khalifa, even 90, uh, September, yes. the pizza. Yeah. <clears throat> You can't even reach no, near to anything. The plan. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't even reach, and they the rocket also. Look, can reach to let me tell it. tell my viewers: uh, we are not mocking any religion. Allah mm. We are doing healthy talk with brother, brother Abdullah. The reason is why I'm talking. Maybe this is sometimes a way to open the eyes of people. Maybe some person will understand. A sane oh. person, not I'm talking about. Uh, the pastors fed person you know who were just feeded by past uh, fed by pastors ideology so you see think and pick one how can god be terrified or worried that these people are going to reach to me and because of reaching me i have to confuse their language so i, I said you pick one who is speaking the truth how god can do it or not then there are many other things <coughs> You see, can you be, uh, believe that? Okay, why do we have uh, Yom Al Jumu'ah? It's a day. God yes. tells us yes. that you have to follow mm -hmm. and you work all say, weeks, uh, six days. Mm -hmm. Seven days for me, no tijara at the time of Salat Al Jumu'ah. Mm -hmm. We accept. You know why? what Bible says about the weekend? What they say? Bible says God created heavens and the earth, but on the seventh day he rested. He was tired of creation. And he got rested. Uh, he took a break. Yeah, he took a break. That's why Yom al Sabt, <laughs> Jews took the break. Mm. What Quran says exactly? Hakaza same. He is the creator of the heavens and the earth, and after creation, he did not feel any fatigue. Mm. Yes. Is that in the Quran? Yes. Bible says, Mr. Abdullah, that Allah created heavens and the earth with pillars. Pillars. You mm. know, the Niyan, but you right? The holding pillars. Quran says Allah created heaven and the earth without pillars. See that? Yes. This is clear indication that which is from the word of God. Quran, Bible, pick it up. Alhamdulillah, we are Muslims. <coughs> we are Muslims. Alhamdulillah. And Islam is a religion for all the prophets. Jesus was Muslim. Moses was Muslim. But this is what, yeah, create. But is what church creates. People created over the period of time by saying that okay, this is not, this is not that. But once you reason, and the Holy Quran is the only book. You know that, uh, Mr. Abdullah. They challenges people. Yes. If this Quran is Muhammad's handiwork, then produce the ayah like of it. Yes. Even muftariyatin. Allah says even you try to. Plagiarize it, you can never produce a result. 
Mm. You know, Mus- yeah, Musalema Kazab, you know him? Yes. He did it. Yes. He tried to do it. His wife also said that I am a Nabiya. Yes. I am prophetess. Mm. She didn't call it. This is very simple test. To deny Quran, guys, you have to create something like of Quran. And Allah says, you can. Yes. Mm-hmm. Allah said that you cannot do it and you'll ne- you will never be able to do it. Then ready for the hellfire. What? To create something like of Quran. And this is also something miraculous. And this is all guys. I hope these are some key points. Maybe inshallah, there is one person. Allah will bring it back to revert him to the right ideology and the concept. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you very much.